Well, our mission for the Department of Licensing is to ensure public safety and welfare in vehicle services, driver services, and business and professions. We also ensure the fair, timely, and efficient collection of over $2.3 billion of revenue every two years. The current Unisys environment is very difficult for DOL to interface from other platforms such as web servers. It was also old, inflexible. We had undocumented applications. This made it very difficult for us to be responsive in a fast and cost-effective method. Fujitsu has done thousands of system implementations and migrations for thousands of clients. We've learned where projects can go in the wrong direction. Macroscope is Fujitsu's approach to legacy migration. The real challenge on the project comes with the culture change that's associated with moving off the mainframe environment and going to the new Windows Server environment. The beautiful part of this solution was the ability to take our current COBOL code, some of it which is over 20 years old, and remove the screen interfaces and the data interfaces and port that without changing the business logic to Windows using .NET COBOL. .NET COBOL for .NET allows our clients to access all of the business logic they built in a mainframe environment, but use it in a more robust, more flexible .NET environment. It preserves their investment in what they built. At the same time, it gives them access to a much newer, much more flexible technology. Once that's done, that common language runtime can run on any of the machines supported by Microsoft .NET Framework. And it actually gives it a new lifespan. It can be moved into the PC world, and it can interoperate with our newer languages and more broadly based technology. The Windows environment has given us the ability to scale our environment as the transaction volumes in the state have risen. It gives us the ability to increase our security over the legacy environment. It has reduced our interface complexity. It allows us to move our application to another data center in the case of a disaster very quickly because we don't have to support all of the legacy interfaces that we've had in the past. Our COBOL experts saw the Fujitsu solution where they could recognize the same code they've been maintaining for years and thus navigate quickly through that code to wherever business change was made, their comfort level went up dramatically. We then can re-engineer some of the old applications within our new technology platform. And that re-engineering will provide business efficiencies and cost-effective solutions that will save the state and the agency money. The cost of the project is approximately $6.5 million, and we anticipate the recovery of that cost in a four-year period. We expect to save over 3,000 hours of staff time each year that we can apply to new development projects and business mandates. The Department of Licensing would like to simplify and reduce the number of different skill sets required by our developers, and by having the Fujitsu solution produce web-based results, we're meeting our goal. The DOL Fujitsu Microsoft partnership is especially productive because the Department of Licensing has a technical expertise to be able to get the job done. Fujitsu has that in-depth knowledge of mainframe systems and COBOL functionality. Microsoft provides a highly scalable and flexible development environment through its .NET platform. Our role is to make our clients and their IT organizations as responsive and as agile as they can be in response to business requirements. The partnership is effective because it unites deep experience working in the legacy mainframe environment and move to the .NET platform. Fujitsu and Microsoft have been a great partner to work with on this project because of the short time frame of the project, the two-year window, to move 25 years of old COBOL code to a Windows environment the state of Washington can use the Unisys replatforming project as a model and an alternate solution to a full re-engineering project.